Magician Mickey is a lot of fun and gives us an early look at Goofy. The early design of Goofy, before they kind of really got in the flow of his style, I always find a little bit bizarre. There's something about early Goofy that just doesn't sit right with me. He's a little bit creepy. But I like his role in this. Mickey is performing a magic act. He's very good. But in the box is Donald Duck. And Donald Duck, sitting right next to the stage, decides to wind up Mickey. He's kind of behaving like a juvenile child. I'm not sure if he's meant to be of a child's age or if he's meant to be maybe drunk and not in control of his senses. I don't know. But either way, Mickey is trying to do this magic act. Donald keeps trying to get in the way and ruin his tricks. But Mickey, being the great performer, kind of incorporates the different things that Donald does into his act. And ultimately, Donald ends up on the stage. And when Donald is on the stage, things get even more interesting. And I won't say any more than that. But I will say that the animation for this is wonderful. There's one bit of animation. Um, everything that involves the hoop. Look out for the hoop and what happens whenever Donald jumps through it. I think how smooth that animation is and how beautiful those transitions are. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Obviously, magic and Disney go quite hand in hand because Disney is a very magical concept. And Mickey Mouse as a magician works really well. I like his outfit. I, I think he looks great. The design of the stage and the way they've kind of incorporated um, the set design of the stage with the box and make you kind of feel... Well, I'm not going to pretend that I felt like I was there. But it's certainly a really nice kind of design, the way they've approached it. And I really like it. Brilliant voice cast. We have uh, three of the greatest Disney voice artists ever. Walt Disney, Clarence Nash and Pinto Colvig as Mickey Donald and Goofy. I can't complain. Directed by David Hand, released in 1937, I believe I didn't mention that, and was apparently the 92nd Mickey Mouse short of all time, the third to be, rele to be released in 1937. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. If you're a Mickey Mouse fan or a Donald Goofy fan, I think it's one you'll really enjoy.